Hello friends, we have a very eminent personality with us. He is uh, Dr. Prarak Sanghani. He is the provost of one of the premium institutions of Gujarat, uh, PP uh, Savani University from Surat. We welcome you in today's forum, Savani. Thank you, uh, Chandanji, and I am very uh, thankful for the Adacom Media for inviting us here and having such a nice gathering and brainstorming on the most relevant topic of a NEP. And it's glad that you have, you are able to gather a very good stalwarts of a higher education in Gujarat. And uh, my compliments to the uh, entire team for the same. Sangani sir, as we are aware that it has uh, a very uh, beautiful policy by, by ministry has came to us in 2020. Uh, what, are, what is the way forward and initiative from your university under your leadership? How are we going to implement it, sir? We have done a lot of main, uh, you know, initiatives on that. Like one of the initiatives called Gujlish, where Gujarati and English combine for the, our diploma programs. Uh, we have started on that. Uh, we are trying to have a language studies, different languages we have introduced with our universities. Minor and major specialization has been introduced. So many things we have started. A uh, blended learning also has been uh, there. Uh, we are the uh, initial few universities in, from the Gujarat who has part of a uh, you know digital uh, India movement, and we have digitized all our uh, examination records and the certificates, and on we are on the DG Locker or a national digital library. So all these has been uh, started, and we will now having more pace yeah. with the. Uh, you know, uh, commitment of creating awareness yeah. among the stakeholders, that's the parents and students. Yes. And we are investing heavily now on to the training of our teachers because that's what the key success factors for implementing, uh, you know, NEP 2020. Yes. Uh, uh, what, what is your five-year uh, plan going further post-pandemic, sir? Post-pandemic, the new normal is blended. So we are moving towards that and we are trying to see that how we will uh, able to integrate the uh, various uh, online resources into our curriculums. We try to involve the ed tech companies in our education deliveries and we try to enhance the quality of our education. And that, that's how we will try to improve our rankings, uh, our uh, you know, uh, overall uh, contributions in terms of research and everything to the society. So that's what our plan for that. As we are aware, sir, that the event name today is New Normal Education Leadership Summit and Award. What is the word New Normal for you, Stan, sir? New Normals means new thinking, uh, new preparations, a new way of delivering the education and uh, uh, adapting the changing environment quickly to deliver the academic excellence for the betterment of the society and betterment of the, our country. So, uh, when we see the kind of gathering which we have today, the representation from the government uh, sector, from uh, the private sector, and even the corporate and ed tech companies, uh, how does certain forums help as uh, overall education community? See, education, it means debating and deliberating. So this kind of events, uh, uh, you know, uh, became a catalyst for the deliberations and coming out with the new ideas, understanding what the other colleagues are doing in their fields, which we generally not uh, do in our normal course. So my compliments for organizing these events, and it's a wonderful event. Yeah. Thank you for uh, sparing your times and being a part of this event. Thank you. All the best. Thank you.